So every time this topic comes up, I always see people not fully understanding the math behind it. Why do teams go for two down eight points? So since the start of the 2000 season, there are 2,108 games where a team is down by 14 points after the third quarter. Only 44 of those teams ended up winning the game, which is about one in every 48 times, or a little over 2%. So first disclaimer, you're probably not going to win the game anyway. In order to win the game, you need a very specific set of things to happen. From here onward, we're going to assume these things will always happen. Number one, you need to score a touchdown. Number two, your defense needs to stop the other team from scoring entirely. And number three, you need to score another touchdown yourself. The question becomes, why do teams go for two points after scoring the first touchdown? So let's look at the first situation, the one everybody's used to, kicking the extra point after the first touchdown. We're going to assume that extra points are 100% accurate. We're going to assume the best case no matter what. If you kick the extra point, you score 7. If you kick the extra point on your second touchdown, you score 7. This means your best case scenario, no matter what, is overtime. 100% of the time, the game will go to overtime. So we can from here assume overtime is a coin flip, or we can look at the same data. In those 2,108 games where a team was down by 14 points after the third quarter, 41 of those games went to overtime. How many of those games were won by the team completing the comeback? 19. How many losses? 19, with three ties. We're going to ignore ties and just assume there's a 50-50 chance. The data supports it. So this becomes really simple. 50% of the time, you win the game. 50% of the time, you lose the game. I think everybody expected this answer. In reality, it's slightly less than 50% because you have the chance to miss either of the two extra points. So let's move on to the more interesting scenario, going for two after the first touchdown. So this gets a little more complicated. Let's start with the scenario everybody uses to argue against this. Well, if you miss both two-point conversions, you lose the game. You don't get a chance for overtime. Well, let's math that out. We're going to assume there's a 40% chance to hit a two-point conversion. This means there's a 60% chance to fail a two-point conversion, and failing two in a row is 60% times 60%, which comes out to 36%. So this means 36% of the time, you just straight up lose the game in regulation. 36% seems really high, but remember, these teams are unlikely to win the game anyway. So okay, you missed the first two-point conversion, now you're down by eight points. It's still a one-possession game, so if you get the stop, you score a touchdown, and then you convert the next two-point attempt, this means we go to overtime. So with the math, you're 60% to fail the first one, 40% to convert the second, multiply those, and you get 24%. This means 24% of the time we go to overtime. But, as we saw before, being 50% to win in overtime, means an extra 12% of the time you'll win, and an extra 12% of the time you'll lose in overtime. So look at that, we have 48% already with losing the game. So how can this possibly be a good decision? Well, what happens if you convert the first two-point attempt? Now you're down by six points. You score the second touchdown, well, you don't need a two-point conversion. You only need the extra point to win the game. So if we assume extra points are 100% again, this means on all 40% of these attempts where you get the first two-point attempt, you just win the game. You don't have to worry about overtime. Where overtime is 50-50, now you just win the game if you convert the first two-point attempt, assuming everything else goes right. So if we add up all the squares here, we have a 52% chance to win the game if we go for two down by eight. The other important thing here is 40% matches the lowest league-wide two-point conversion rate of the 21st century back in 2009. 40% is the lowest we've ever seen. If we average every season so far, we have about a 49% chance factoring in every year since 2000. So we can actually make this even more likely if we assume around a 50% chance. This is working with the low estimate of only 40%, and it still has a better success rate of winning the game compared to kicking two extra points. Many people seem to misunderstand that the goal is to win the game. It doesn't matter if 36% of the time we straight up lose the game in regulation, if we win the game 40% of the time. 
having a 100% chance to make it to overtime doesn't matter if we lose 50% of those games. Hopefully this explanation will help you understand. Keep in mind there are obviously always outside factors such as how a team's performing on that certain day, if you have a play call that you know is going to work, if your defense has been great and you think you can hold your own in overtime, and so on. And most of the time, like we said, it does not make a difference, seeing as the odds are so high to even score two touchdowns without allowing anything in between, which is why we don't see too many of these calls influencing the result of games. But the math is in the favor of going for two.